My original idea for this guitar was going to be a headless design with an ergonomically shaped body. And that's what I started drawing out when I began designing the guitar for cutting out on the CNC machine. However, I decided that I really wanted a more sexy shape for competition entry. And um, anyway, there wasn't a lot of room for the controls to fit in the ergonomic design. So I decided to change that. A major part of this project was using the CNC router that I designed and built for myself. And so I thought that I would go for something a bit different and have the controls of the guitar just sticking out a short distance from a cliff edge on the body of the guitar. So just the edges of the knobs show. This requires some complex cutting, which you may not want to do by hand, but is ideal for doing on a CNC router. I also decided to incorporate the uh, headless tuners inside the body of the guitar rather than have them sit on top. Uh, so this meant coming up with a design of my own. Um, this was also a clever way of saving several hundred dollars. The software I'm using here is VCarve from Vectric, which is intended for designing pieces to be made on a CNC router. So you do the drawing and then generate the instructions for the machine directly in the same software. Several layers of drawing built up while I was uh, doing this design. And as you can see, there's a fair bit of complexity in the tuners and the body cutouts needed to fit the tuners and fit all the controls and everything else. But there comes a time when the drawing has to stop and you have to start making some sawdust. I'm doing a lot of the cutting for this project on this CNC machine that I designed and built for myself, so I've got to get it doing something useful. And um, the body blank is fixed down into the uh, machine using bolts which go straight through the jig and into the fixing uh, clamping arrangement in the bed of the machine itself. Um, however, getting them accurately positioned is done with these three pegs, which are a tight fit into holes drilled in the uh, jig itself. And then the whole thing will sit, if you're very lucky, and go down there and that's very precisely positioned and then held in place by the clamps. Now one of the reasons for doing that is to be able to turn the whole thing over, get that peg out of there, which is not easy, we want it to be tight. One of the ideas I say is to be able to machine the top accurately and get the top and bottom holes to line up by placing jig placing the blank um, the other way up on the same three pins now whether or not it lines up depends on how accurately i've built the machine and um, it does line up and i'm actually very pleasantly surprised at how well it lines up that is an indication that i've actually got the machine lined up quite accurately so that the holes that were drilled through from the top are actually symmetrical. The first job that has to be done on each side is skimming the surface nice and flat. Uh, pretty dull and boring. And here's a quick view of the software that actually drives the machine. Once the skimming is complete, the real excitement can begin and we actually start cutting something out. Watching the machine doing the cutting gets boring pretty quickly. So here are a few uh, pictures of the results. Here are the cavity for the controls on the underside and you can see the tuning cavity as well, which is where the in-body headless tuners fit. There's also a small cavity for the three-way switch. This is the tuner block itself made from a close-grained wood called Huon Pine, only available here in Tasmania, and that gets glued inside the cavity of the guitar to become a solid part of the body. This is a view of the top side of the guitar. You can see the hole there, which is where the strings come up from the tuning block. That's not a pickup cutout. And also you can see the cliff edge, as I've called it, 
and the round holes where the knobs will come up from the control cavity and then move out sideways slightly so that just the edges of the five volume and tone controls stick out from the edge of that cliff.